Several videos ago, I discussed vitamin D as it relates to the coronavirus. And in this video, I want to discuss vitamin C. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Dr. Anwar Youssef Dunbar, and this is Big Discussions 76 Science and Technology. First of all, please like this video, please share it, and please subscribe to my channel. Well, um, some subscribers and commenters asked me about vitamin C or else commented on vitamin C and when I was in Buffalo about uh, two months ago I remember waking up in the morning and seeing an instant message from a Facebook friend named uh, Malia not uh, not the Obama's Malia but uh, she asked me about vitamin C because I have a pharmacology background and I hadn't done any research on this stuff yet the lockdown hadn't happened yet and we hadn't gone into quarantine yet so I said, you know, well, why are you asking me about uh, vitamin C and orange juice and, and those kinds of things? And it, I guess she had started reading up on it or she had started, started hearing about it. So um, I made a video about vitamin D. So in this one, I wanted to say some words about vitamin C. So before I jump into that, I just want to talk about uh, the virus and what's happening now and I just want to briefly say that uh, the situation is still evolving and our knowledge on the virus is still evolving as well and it's been predicted that in uh, the summer months and in warm weather climates uh, the infections may in fact fall off and it's also suspected that when things cool down again the infections might in fact ramp back up and right now I've I saw some reports on the internet this morning that uh, there the infections are ramping back up uh, in uh, South Korea I believe it's South Korea or North Korea and China so I'm saying that to say that it's important for everyone to stay as vigilant as possible and also to do the simple things that uh, they can do to protect their immune systems and their overall health such as you know social distancing and, and continuing to quarantine even though I know that's hard for a lot of people it hasn't been hundred percent easy for me as well so in my vitamin D video I talked about how um, vitamin D uh, is known to in terms of, of health it's known to prime and strengthen the immune system and so the question has come up as to uh, what does vitamin C do and why is this important so from a uh, scientific standpoint down to the uh, chemical level uh, vitamin C is actually ascorbic acid and ascorbic acid is an antioxidant and the reason that's important is because many of the cells within, well, all of the cells in our body, uh, as you know, they contain enzymes, and there are always, uh, at any given time, there are always enzymatic reactions going on, and some of these enzymatic reactions create something called um, free radicals and reactive oxygen, oxygen species. I'm sorry. And once these free radicals form, and these reactive oxygen species form they can damage um, the macromolecules uh, in our cells such as the enzymes that generated them and they can damage other things too like our nucleic acids and uh, you know other other proteins because our cells are filled with proteins of all kinds so what antioxidants do is they uh, scavenge or you could also think of it as they mop up those uh, free radicals and reactive 
oxygen species. So this has a protective effect uh, within cells and as a result our whole organs and uh, tissues. Uh, and also my research revealed that our bodies don't naturally produce vitamin C and so we have to take it in from external sources. So if you do a, a Google search on vitamin C, uh, a, lot of, a lot of things will come up. Um, Wikipedia has uh, some characterization on it. Um, as a writer, when I wrote for the examiner, they didn't trust Wikipedia, so I checked some other sources such as WebMD and the Mayo Clinic. And basically, <clears throat> they all said that it does have some function on the immune system, but in terms of colds, which, which I think everyone is thinking about it in that context here, it's, it's reported that it doesn't prevent colds, but instead it uh, shortens the duration of colds and it can minimize the severity of your uh, cold symptoms. And so in terms of what's going on now, um, you know, we know that the coronavirus uh, you know, numerous symptoms are being reported and, you know, um, the extent at which and the nature of which people are uh, infected and, and get sick varies. But early on, it was reported that uh, it was a pretty bad flu, which kind of puts you in the, the cold um, arena. So in that instance, something like this um, in theory would be very very helpful so again it doesn't so if that's true and if you have the potential for catching that uh, that that aspect of the COVID-19 or even just a common a common cold or flu um, vitamin C is not reported to prevent uh, the onset of a cold or, or cold like symptoms but it's reported to shorten the duration and lessen the severity of the symptoms. So that's my short video on vitamin C. Again, you know, there's a lot of a lot of talk of uh, you know vaccinations, and that's not going to happen for a while. Uh, or should I say, they're not going to be able to create one for a while because it has to go through a series of tests. Once they find something that they think works, there are a numer a lot of numerous other medications that are being proposed and experimented with, but I think that as uh, the citizens and the lay people, we want to take whatever um, simple preventative measures we can take to lessen the chances of us getting infected uh, with this thing or um, getting the full-blown uh, symptoms of uh, this COVID-19. So that's vitamin C, ascorbic acid, and that's what it does, and that's what it's been reported to do. Uh, please let me know what you think in the comment section below, or let me know if you have any questions. Please like this video, please share it, and please subscribe to my channel. And as always, as always, remember that your attitude determines your altitude. Take care, and I'll talk to you the next time. Bye-bye.